name is Nadine with Nolly with NYC and we're here at the first annual Arik Airs event. I'm excited to talk to you. What's your name? My name is Anthony Chima. Okay, so what brings you here tonight? Well, I was invited by uh, the Vice President of uh, Air Arik, uh, Bruno, uh, because um, I've been involved with the project they do in Nigeria, they're flying from here to Nigeria and back forth. And Eric uh, has uh, sponsored some of the programs I had here. I'm the president of World Mission Foundation, uh, linked with the ECOSOC, the United Nations. So we bring people from overseas here and there. And I've been very supportive of the um, uh, people that are guests that come from overseas. So that's why I'm here today to support the, the uh, second year anniversary. Wow, I'm, I'm just excited. Well, first of all, what, what do you see in the future for Arik Air and for what you're doing as well? Well, I think uh, they will, I will see them going beyond other airlines that have been flying to Nigeria for a couple of years. Uh, see them flying to Nigeria on daily basis and uh, reaching out to other states in Nigeria, not only going to Lagos, but going to like Porakot and uh, Edugu or Oweri. I can't wait. I can't yes, wait. I can't wait to see that. Yes. I can't wait. Arike, we're so proud of you and we wish you many, many more to come. Thank you. So thank you. And I'm very glad, I'm very honored to be a part of the growth of uh, Arike in Nigeria. That's right. Thank you. Congratulations. Yes, thank, thank you. Thanks. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm Nadine here with Nollywood at NYC. And we're here at the annual anniversary of Arik's Air is Airs event. I'm so excited. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. How do you say your name again? Mamadou. Mamadou, I love your name. So but where are you from? Well, I'm from Senegal, but next week I'm going to Lagos to pick up my passport. And you're flying with Arik, right? It, 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 and it's not that I'm fine with Arik only. It is like absolutely Arik, not only a brand, but I think it's absolutely a gigantic, incredibly empowering step for African movement. I love it. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, it's been so long. I've known Air Africa. I was born in West Africa, Francophone West Africa, where they had a cooperative airline called Air Africa. Since Air Africa died about 10 years ago, there has never been a West African airline connecting the different 17 countries of West Africa. Arik is going to do that. That's why we have to support this endeavor. Oh, we're supporting them all the way, all the way, all the way. I'm so proud of Arik and what they're doing. I mean, everybody loves to get on Arik if it's comfortable. I haven't been on a business class, though, not yet. How does it feel in the business of the first class? Well, I was in first class, uh, <laughs> trust me, and that was only between Lagos and Accra. And I was coming to America, they told me, in the car you have to cease your spot to someone else. I was so upset. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do it? I have to. Oh. Uh, you know, but that's okay. Because that was the first year, now we're celebrating the second anniversary, and I think it's a completely different ball game. Yes. And the thing, what I wanted to say here is that I'm from Senegal, I'm not from Nigeria. I was colonized by the French, and I speak Wolof. Uh, the idea of a Pan-Africanism ideal is absolutely, I think, held by this company, this airline company. There is no more important than transportation, just like technology. These are the only two areas of development that is left after agriculture and industry, transportation and technology. So ARIC is absolutely critical for the development of all of Africa. All right, thank you so much. Say something wall up to the people out there. Well, uh, Arik, demain, suba, then a new fly. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> How did you get here to the event? Did you fly with Arik Air? I flew, no, I, I, I came in from Washington. Okay. So I, I flew, I flew US Air. US Air. Have you flown Arik Air yet? I'm, I'm just excited to find out. Several times. Really? I, I used to, before I, before I was, uh, because I, I got this job as ambassador, I used to fly Arik within the country. Okay. I've flown Arik several times from uh, from Lagos to Juba. Okay. Even when they had these new aircrafts. Okay. And I flew them several times. I've flown them a number of times from here to um, to uh, to Lagos. Okay. From New York to Lagos several times. Okay. Um, since I assumed duty last year, I've flown Arik to Nigeria more than six times. Okay. Uh, so so I see you fly a lot. What kind of advice could you give to Arik Air? Well, one thing I should ask them to do is to first, um, uh, they, 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 they offer very good services.
comparable to the best airlines in the world. Uh, but there are one or two times when I heard of flight cancellations. That should not happen. Because, uh, they should establish a, they should a reputation for for punctuality and for and for de delivery, okay. fulfill promises. Okay. Because um, people executive they would like to be flying okay. are such people that we not want any postponement or delay. So I think that occurs very, very rarely to them. But because it still occurs once a while, right. uh, they should completely obliterate it. Uh, I, we want to see Ali compare February with uh, world-class airlines like British Airways, uh, Delta, and the rest of them. Ari, Ari, the, the kind of services they're offering is much, much better than for those, than those airlines. The aircrafts are new. The, the, the cabin crew is very superb. It's first class, well-rated. Is so that they should just make sure that they, they deliver these services regularly, regularly, okay. without any any delay or any cancellation. And they're doing that because because ninety nine percent of their flights are on time and on schedule. That's good. So they should they should keep to they keep up to it. Okay. So I think Ari can. Is it a smooth ride? Oh, it's it's very smooth, very very smooth, very very comfortable, very very convenient. Okay. Yeah. I mean, on on every occasion I've flown them, I've not been I've I've been quite lucky. I've not had any any occasion to to uh, to to criticize their services. Okay. They've not given me any opportunity to do that. Okay. They've been flying on schedule and the, the, the service is really first and class. All your luggage arrived. All my luggage arrived safely. Okay. The, the cabin, the treatment was good. Okay. The the, uh, the cabin, cabin service was first class. Everything they did is comparable to that of the best airlines in the world. What about the food now? It's pounded down on the flights. The, the food is, is of good quality, so world class. Okay. But but uh, done in such a way to, to have a Nigerian flavor. Okay. So if you want to still be attached to Nigerian food, you find yourself you'll be comfortable. And if you want to go continental international, it's there too. So it's it's it palm wine too. Is that palm wine? It's not palm wine no. It's not, it's not palm wine. It's uh, some gari. <laughs> and some rice, some rice. Are it's, you serious? Yes, I'm serious. It's quite good. It's quite good. It feels like home. It feels like home. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I think I have nothing to complain about Ari. I just want them to maintain the standard and improve on it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, Ambassador. My pleasure. Any other shout out? Anyone say hello to anyone else out there? Well, just to tell, uh, like I was telling the Nigerians here, that they should make sure that um, they tell each and every one of everyone around that they should fly Ari. That Nigeria now has a world-class airline. That's right. And uh, even though we want foreign investors to, our con to come to our country, we also want our own people to invest to go to other parts of the world and make money. So Arik is there. Arik is taking Nigerians. Is taking the world to Nigeria. It should also take the world. It should also take Nigerians to the world. That's right. And therefore, that's what Arik should be doing. That's right. I believe Arik would do that. We wish you so much success. Thank you so much once again. Most welcome. Right. Thank you. Well, tell everybody your name, please. Abdullah Dawda. I love your name. And where are you from? I'm from Nigeria. Oh, that's what's up. So have you flew with Arik yet? Or yes, tell us I about have. your experience. I have. Uh, this year I was in Nigeria, and I had about six locations, uh, Abuja, Maiduguri, Abuja, Kano, and Abuja, Oweri, round trip. Wow. And Arik, oh. I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful airline. Yeah, nice yeah. and smooth? Nice and smooth. All what about the food? The food is excellent. Yeah. yeah. Even though in Nigeria it's a short flight, but they do entertain you. Okay, it's filling too, right? Oh yeah, <laughs> always. <laughs> okay, so did you get to network with other people at this at this event tonight? What did you think about the anniversary event tonight? The anniversary was well attended, well represented from all diverse, and I think it's a good thing for Eric and. Uh, we will continue to support them and uh, make sure that Nigerians patronize the airline. Any other advice you want to give to Arik Air for the future coming? Uh, well, probably instead of flying only to Lagos, at some point maybe fly to Abuja or Kano, How you know, you or Port Harcourt, you know. <laughs> so this way you have a uh, different direction okay. for the airline. Okay, I'm sure they'll take that into consideration. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Thank you. Hi, I'm standing here with a beautiful network journal. Oh, can you tell everybody your name? You look gorgeous tonight. Thank you. My name is Rosalind McClymont, and I'm the executive editor of the Network Journal, which is an 18-year-old magazine, one of the wow. top five magazines owned
owned and founded by a Nigerian wow, that's Senegalese. So yes. I didn't know that. Yes. 18 years? 18 years. You're saying correct. you were with them since? But I've been with them since 2003. Okay, that's yes, so, just that's eight so, years. That's so a while ago. <laughs> yes, that is true. Okay, so how did you feel about tonight's event? Tonight's event made me very, very proud. Um, I am a Pan-Africanist. I am Caribbean. I'm from Guyana. And for us, Africa, I'm a Garveyite. I believe in the philosophy and opinions of Marcus Garvey. And so whatever Africa does that makes it proud, that, st that shows its independence, makes me proud also. I thoroughly enjoy tonight everything about it. I'm very happy to see that this is an African-owned right. uh, business, right. and especially in transportation, right. which we need so, so very much. That's right. Have you yes. flew with Arik yet? No, I have not. I was hoping to win the tickets tonight but Aww. you know I know I know that we will eventually I know yeah. I will and you will tell us about your experience right I certainly will tell you about the experience everybody has been testifying to it's 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 amazing quality and I'm sure that I'm gonna find it the same way tell a, li a little bit about the network journal the network journal is a business magazine strictly business and it is its audience is black professionals and business owners we have two signature events in the year three actually uh, we honor 25 influential black women in business every March okay. and we honor 40 under 40 black achievers and last year we launched the Africa version of it after 15 years of doing that in New York in the United States we launched the Africa edition of it it took place in Ghana, 40 on the 40 Africa. It took place in Ghana. The vice president of, wow. of Ghana was our honorary wow. uh, chairman. It was a wonderful event and we honored young African men and women, not just from uh, Ghana, but from all over. Wow. And so we're very, very proud of our footprint in Africa. Wow, that like, sounds exciting here because I'm from Ghana. So to oh. hear that, it sounds uplifting. But well, thank you so much. My father's line is from Ghana. Oh, my really? father's line is directly from Ghana, too. Wow, it's yeah. amazing talking to you, Deborah. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Bye. It's good to know that uh, there's an airline that can compare, compete, and contrast with whatever that we have out there. That's right. I started flying Eric um, sometime last December. And like a typical Nigerian, initially I was, I was like, do, should I fly them? I know. And then I took, like, the, first, I, I, I took the first leap of faith and I was like, oh my God, that felt good. And since then, really? I am proud, I am glad that we have Eric in North America. Yes. It's the best yes. airline and I will continue to fly them. They are my client, they advertise in my newspaper and I'm glad, excited to project Eric's brand. Oh, did you hear that, Eric? That's a lot of love from Garrett. Thank you so much. I'm going to keep it short. I know you got to go. Absolutely. Thank All right, you. we'll see you soon. No doubt about it. Thank you very much. All right. See All right. You. Nigerian hairline, the difference is always clear. It's beautiful. And uh, Rome was not built in a day. Eric will continue to do very well years over years. That's right. Thank you so much. You're All right, we'll see you soon. Thank you. All right. Okay. Hi, I'm your host Nadine, and I'm standing here with this handsome gentleman. What's your name? Uh, my name is Saeed Hassan. Saeed Hassan, tell us about tonight's event with Arik Air. Well, uh, I think this is something uh, that uh, Nigeria should, the whole Nigerian community and Nigeria should be proud of. Okay, Eric Air. Okay, it started as a small company. It has grown so big. Yes. I'm a travel agent. My company, ABS Travel, does. Uh, a lot of work with uh, Eric Air and Nigerian people and it's uh, amazing that what is happening in New York City right now and this word is spreading all over USA and I can tell you this was a great event it was planned very well this is what America want to see and that's how it has been recognized okay once these things are done this way they know who we are okay yes. I mean I come from Asia we, Africa I think it's the same thing we are developing and we are doing great question now since you're a travel agent what kind of people do you normally book with that week air uh, I think it's all type of people, people who are going back home for to see their families, who are going on business trips, okay, who want to, don't want to stop on the way, quick in and out sort of a thing. You go one day, you stay, do your business and come back the next day it's over that's and true. that's what it is okay because a lot of other European carrier or American carrier you take 
eight hours more or five hour more plus four, three, three to six hour layover in Europe, people don't like that anymore. I think they want quick, okay? And mostly people, Nigerian people living in America, I think we are Americans now. Yes. I mean, the way we think like Americans, okay, time is very important to us. You're speaking Money. like an American too. Well, I, you speak like I, I live here for 20 years, I so I mean that's how it yeah, is. Yeah. But we still love uh, uh, we love our people back home. Okay, whether I'm where I'm from or where I mean, if Nigerians people are listening to this, I mean we're not American. We're one of you. Okay, right. it's just this is how the life is so fast here. Let me think that way. That's, that's, that's it. That's, that's all. True. That's true. Thank okay. you so much. Any advice, are we here at all? Eric, here, no, I think keep up the good, good work, okay, keep your relationship with the uh, people back home, people here who are traveling, listen to their needs, listen to their uh, problems, okay, and keep on solving it, and you develop on those bases, okay. Nobody build up in a day, okay, it takes time, and I think you, you're at a good speed, so That's continue right. doing that. That's right. Arika, I need you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank All you. Right. How are you? Oh, wow. 18. 18. Well, yeah, yeah, we just wow. had it. Hey, whatever. So how did you I'm ready to roll. How did you guys feel tonight? The night was awesome. It was amazing. The most amazing. wonderful thing tonight was my friend Bob Runner. Yes, Bob. Who I hired as a friend of his father. And he had nothing. And I took a chance to hire him. And he proved me right. He proved me right. And you know, he has never changed in all these years. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Really? But the most important thing about him is that he was able to get down there. And 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 he was able to get Now. Oh really? And um, like my my fifth time in Arika Airlines. Wow. Yeah, I've been in a couple of times, and um, it's a great service. Does Arika go to um, Sierra Leone? Yes, Does have it? service to Sierra Leone, have service to Senegal, Gambia, Ghana, all over West Africa. Yes. I've been on all those flights, and that's it's yeah. wonderful you service. You Let me say one thing. African Airlines. It's the only airline that serves. Rice, jollof rice. rice. You are lying. He, 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 I used to say yes. he loves rice. <laughs> I love jollof rice. Rice okay. and chicken. But wait, what about palm wine now? Palm everything now. That? Are you sure? Don't lie. You got plantains on plane. That's how. That's how we do. Mm, I'm hungry. I'm fine. That this tomorrow. is number. So good I'm though. Fine tomorrow. All right. <laughs> anyway, thanks for having me. Hey, so thank, thank you very much. You. All right, thank you very much. I record day. Plantain on planes. Okay. Hello, Bob. Hi. Everybody's been talking about you tonight. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm talk I mean, you've done such a great job. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Tell us about the experience, the history of Arik Air. Well, um, Eric hired me to be the vice president for the Americas back in 2010, right after we started flying. And it's been a brilliant experience. I mean, um, as you can tell, I'm probably, I'm not Nigerian. Um, but the Nigerians have embraced me and embraced this company like beyond what I could ever have ex thought ahead of time, expected, hoped for. It's just been truly the most moving experience that I could 
can imagine. And not only did they embrace me, I think, if, I don't know if you heard some of the speeches inside, but like Osahan Akpakta coming out and reaching out to us and taking me, Oluchi grabbing me and taking me around and introducing me to some people I would never meet. I mean, they're the cause for the success of the airline. You know, we operate a great service. I mean, not, A, it's nonstop. B, there's more leg room than anybody else going across the Atlantic. We have both uh, African and Western flight attendants. We have African and Western food. And, and then beyond that, you know, we treat everybody equally with respect, um, whatever, you know, experience they're, they've had or where they come from or how they look. Uh, because we, we've got both elements covered and, and that's how we train our people. And, you know, we believe safety, security, customer care, and customer care is important. Uh, and that means we don't operate if it's not safe, but even then we take care of the customer, whatever we have to do. So um, it, it's truly been great. You know, it's been easy. <laughs> so how long have you been in this industry? How many years? Oh, you're going to have long, longer, longer. Okay, yeah. But anyway, well, I started when I was like six. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who trained you? Yeah, well, actually, Jack just left. Uh, yeah, I spoke to him. Yeah, Jack Veracachia, the, the most magical man I've ever met in my life. You know what? Um, yeah, I can be shy. Yeah. But, uh, but no. The future of Eric is bright. Um, you know, we, we've started uh, two years ago when I started with single digits sometimes, maybe 40 people on a flight. And everybody was calling me up. And uh, I had everything from the people that wanted to be successful telling me how bad a job I'm doing. I had the airport authority saying, you know, this airline's not going to make it. Um, I, and but the CEO, Dr. Michael, believed in me. Um, our COO uh, believed in us, and they knew that you don't start an airline up and immediately go from zero to 100% load factors. So, you know, with that support, and then with the support and the energy of the community, and the belief that you know we give back to the community, the community will respond to us. It's it's truly been um, the right formula, and whether it be the medical missions that we've sponsored, or whether it be the the, um, the sports athletes going over to run sport camps, whether it be some of the associations that we've worked with, all of them spreading the word uh, about Eric. It's just been uh, very very. Is there like one secret weapon that skyrocketed um, Eric's success? So what it is? Now? You mean besides me? I know you know it's it's not one thing but it, you can boil it down to um, treating the customer the way you'd want to be treated um, somebody else has asked me questions before and I said you know that's truly it I, I'm not just an airline executive I'm a passenger too and if I get treated you know wrongly I notice it so why would I expect somebody else to be different so we really want to treat people the way I'd want to be treated and I think that's probably the, the, the mantra that I would suggest makes it happen thank you. Such a pleasure. well thank you very much it's Thanks been uh, do it well thank you and it, it's been brilliant to be here it's been a great night you should uh, call my name though what's oh yeah yeah well, no, when you call the ticket, we'll work on it next year I, okay <laughs> right. thanks thank Bob. You. All right. All right. see you Good night. We have a promotion for an event coming up in Mailand. Okay. So you're going to talk about this event. Who's going to talk about it? Eric is one of the sponsors. Okay, great. So I'm going to talk about it. Okay, so you are. Okay, cool. Yeah, I remember what it is. <laughs> okay, so we're, we have a big event coming up, right? Well, what, tell us a little bit about it. Essentially, uh, FT Value and uh, Global Culture Television out of uh, Washington, D.C., Mailand. And actually, we're having our great partner right here to support this. And actually, we're having a raffle. Okay. And that's the second December of uh, 2011 okay. and it's going to be at the Comfort Inn in uh, of course in, in Maryland okay. so wherever you are absolutely you don't have to be there to win you know, so they are giving like two raffle tickets okay. round trip to Nigeria $20 <laughs> that's your the, the raffle ticket so wherever you are just go online is ftvalue.com and you will be able to really have your ticket are you going to be there? Uh, it's December 2nd, I don't think I'm going to be there, but one of my staff will be there. I believe Kobe's going to be there. Okay, great. Right that's there. good that's enough. That's the guy right over there. All right. Oh, okay, that's great. Thanks, He'll Bob. Thank All right, you. thank you very much. Too. No, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Hi, how are you? Excellent. How about yourself? You're looking great. I like oh, this. Oh, thanks. Yeah, this... look sharp. <laughs> thank <laughs> you. <laughs> What's your name? 
My name is Mark, Mark Manzik. So what do you do? What do I do? Everything. No, um, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a musician, an artist. Really? Uh, educator, yes. Sing you something, please. Sing you something? That's percussion. What I'm a percussionist. Stop it. You have to be able to sing what you play, right? Yeah. No, no, I don't That's, do it. <laughs> hey, if you could sing it, you can play. Hey, you're right? a mess. <laughs> what did you think about tonight's event? It's wonderful. Wonderful. Have you flew with Arik? Have you flew on? Oh, on yes. Oh, yes. I, w I took Eric with my wife, E.B. Bassey. Okay. Uh, we went last December, and it was exceptional. Exceptional. Especially the first class. Um, now I see why you're silly. Because your wife is a little silly. Both of you are just silly. That makes sense. We're meant for each other. Exactly. <laughs> so, so she cooks all that good food, the pound and yam and all that stuff, right? Yes, yeah, so... I'm coming for dinner. That's my favorite. She makes the bono too. As long as I get the big piece of chicken. <laughs> as Chris Rock would say, Daddy gets the big piece of chicken. Always. No, you can't get a big piece. I'm getting a big piece. No, 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 no. <laughs> daddy gets the big piece of chicken. Okay, Daddy, you get the big piece. Fine. <laughs> So tell us about like the future. What do you see with Arik Air? Well, I hope they continue to expand. Um, I see that there's flights going to South Africa, which is great. Uh, it'd be even greater if they can expand in the future into the Middle East and maybe even to India, because I go to India as well. So oh, that would be a wonderful thing. Cool. So you know. Speak a little Indian. Da, da, da. Speak a little. Well, there's many languages in India. Yeah. Just just like Nigeria. Nigeria, you have many languages. Yeah, There's no... Yeah, yeah, yeah. When somebody says, I speak Nigerian, no. Well, which like one? You know what we mean. Like the main well, language. Well, Hindi is the most prominent, right. but you still have Bengali and Gujarati, Punjabi, so many one, different... One. I just want to know if you learned something. Say Namaskar. Something. Which one is that? <laughs> Namaskar. Just translate. That, that's a greeting. That's hello. Oh, Nam yeah. Nam Namaskar. Namaskar is hello. Thank you so much. You taught me something. You're <laughs> it's welcome. A it's a pleasure having you. Any shout outs? Shout out to, uh, to, to Bob Brenner and Eric. You guys are doing a fantastic job. I hope you continue to expand. Uh, exceptional service. Um, great food. Great service. And, uh, you know, everyone on the Nigerian crew, especially from that flight, they really hooked us up. That's what's Thank up. you. <laughs> Thank you, and we out of here. All right. What did you think about tonight now? This is an amazing event. I know it was. I'm so proud to be here. So men and you know, wine, beautiful women, women, everything, total package. Total package. Total package. And you know why I'm especially so proud to be here? Eric Air sponsors Catches Project. Catches Project, we're all about empowerment of young women. Our current focus is in Nigeria. What we're trying to do with Catches Project in partnership with Eric, with their sponsorship. We give them scholarship to go to school. You do? Education is the key. That's amazing. Education is the key, and we have about 18 young women. We started last September. We just celebrated our our first year anniversary at the Nigerian Mission. Really? Last week, Friday. Oh, and we have 18, yeah, you did. And we have 18 girls on our project on scholarship because you know what? We believe in education. Education helped me in my life. I grew up in Nigeria. You know, I grew up in Nigeria. I, I, I know the challenges that, I, that you know, I was faced with in Nigeria. And the key is to support our young women through yes. education. Yes. Education will not necessarily make you rich, but it gives you the options to, for you, you to know. No? Yeah, for you to know that you have, you know, options in life. So that's what Catch's project is all about, and I'm so happy and proud that Eric Air is sponsoring our so project. Catchy is after you. Your Ketchy. name. Ketchy. In Catchy. In Catchy is your name. In Catchy, but, but Ketchy then comes people from your name. Yeah. it derives from your name. Exactly, I love it. I love exactly, it. because you know I, I I live here in America, and every time I meet people, and especially I work in fashion industry, I work for SAS, and then I you know they always like. Mm, Catchy, Nikki, and all that. I said, why don't you do it? Forget the end. Yes. Call me Catchy. Okay. And that's where Catchy's project, you know, and it's stuck. They love it. They remember that name. Right. And uh, in thinking of making a difference, I thought that Catchy is the name that brings good luck to me, yes. that sticks, hence Catchy's project.
love it. I love it. Thank I mean, you you're so doing much. Amazing things. I'm so proud of you. We got to I mean, do that. I mean, need what you're doing. So Thank you so it much. Keep it up. You see, Elizabeth, we can always expect our government to do everything for us. It's up to us in diaspora, you know, the, you know, to make a difference also yes. in our own continent. That's right. We can always expect a handout when we can't do even anything to support our government. I am playing my part, and I hope everyone, every one of us, African, of African parents, you know, that live overseas, can actually look at the the opportunities that we have in Africa and try to actually support one cause or the other. We have to. We have Make a to. difference. I think it's a great thing and it would be a wonderful thing to help, you know, develop our continent. Yes. You know, the era of a hand that is gone. So this is our time. Wow. Thank You're you. an amazing woman. You're God's son. Thank no, you. you. <laughs> Thank you, Ketchy. Yeah. All right. Take care. Bye. Yes, Ebi. She's my superwoman. You were you did you did amazing tonight. Thank you. I mean, you were so elegant and classy, and you are funny. How, how do you work it now? Ah, uh, I try my sister. What would I do? You gotta do what you gotta, you gotta do, do, man. It's like do. when that light comes on, you better have it or yes. you don't. Yes. You know, you so like spill it out naturally. Yeah, exactly. Like, I don't come no. up with anything like. I mean, I might think about a few things that I want to do, but I don't write a script because then it sounds scripted, like reality shows. But um, no, I just go up there and I'm, I'm one of those people that I use what's going on around me and, you know, that's how I just try and do what I can. What other projects are you working on? Um, presently, I have Ties That Vine with Kimberly Elise coming out in really? April. Yeah. Okay. Actually, on uh, November 17, I have to go out for the uh, critics only screening okay. and uh, with Jeffrey Wright okay. who played Malcolm X. I mean he's been in so many things I can't wow. even mention wow. um, so I'm gonna go out for that okay. yeah really really I'm very I'm, I've been it. blessed I've been blessed yeah and then uh, it opens in Ghana and Nigeria yeah and then it comes to the United States April 30th so it's me Kimberly Elise uh, Omotola Amake Abibrese, um, John Dumelo, you know, so it's going to be really, yeah, he's cute, he's a hottie. He, uh, you know, I'm married, but I'm not dead, honey. He's a hottie. Happy? <laughs> now we, we, my dear, you know. So what, what do you think about, like, the beginning process of Arik Air to now where they are? What, what do you think about their journey? You know, it's, it's really amazing because, you know, what they're doing, Nigerian Airways could have done, but... You know, it's a new era, and I really feel like they're really trying to get to know the people, and it's not just about let's make our money. I think they really do care if we're comfortable, if we're getting our money's worth, if if the tickets are worth the value. So it's it's awesome, you know. And then they're not just you know. Sometimes when you have these companies come to African countries, they just bring their people and then want to dominate, you know, the Nigerians or the South Africans or whatever country they're in. But I think that they're trying to work in a symbiotic way with us, you know, and consider our opinions valuable. Because if you're going to come into my country and not involve, you know, me or or, or any of my people, you're you're a user. And I feel that this company is not, you know, an opportunistic company in essence, you know, it's Nigerians and, you know, trying to do better for us and bringing in other people with knowledge. I, I don't I don't believe, you. oh, if you have a company, you only hire Nigerians. I believe you hire people who are good for the job. You know, Nigerians, that's, that's you know, anybody, Ghanaian, whatever, you want to do a good job. And I think they're really doing an incredible job. Like I said, when I traveled, I used their uh, first class service. It was awesome. It, it really was. I mean, I mean it was, it was like awesome. I really did. I. The bed stretched out. I could sleep. I felt like I was sleeping in my own bed. No, it was, it was awesome. And the food. Idea. I ten ten page menu. I was like, woo. I was like, husband, don't touch me today. My headache. I get sad today. Relax. It was, it was really I mean, awesome. How many hours though? It was like 10 hours. Wow. But I mean, I'm one of those people I get on a plane, I have a little glass of wine, I'm knocked out because I figure if anything's gonna happen, I don't wanna know. Exactly. <laughs> I just wanna wake up and go, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> oh, you're really me? here for real. <laughs> Evie, it's so much fun speaking to you. You're doing amazing things. A lot of women look up to you and just 
I gotta say one okay, thing, okay. shameless plug. I'm working on my short film, which is called Saving Father. It is going to be about HIV AIDS among senior citizens. Nobody's really talking about it. Everybody talks about AIDS from a young person's perspective, a gay person's perspective. Senior citizens? Senior citizens wow. are getting it on, girl. Some what? of them getting it on what? more than me what? and you. No I'm, way. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. So I really want to do a film to discuss and bring about dialogue. Because nobody wants to think grandma is getting it on, but grandma is getting it on. But grandma is thinking, I'm too old. I'm not going to have children so I can have, you know, unprotected sex. But the thing is that when a woman gets older... Surreal. No. When, you, when a woman gets older, her lady parts thin out. So things can pass through the membranes a lot more quicker than if it's a young female. So I mean, are they doing it with a younger No. Generation the or? same same well, how age. Do they, how do they? They get it on. They do. Show they do. I know go show you. I know be grandma. <laughs> but the thing is that they are some of them are ex-IV drug users. Some of them are okay. also uh, on the down low and wow. and so a lot of our, a lot of the new cases that are being diagnosed are seniors. One in, I mean, it's ridiculous. One in fifteen thousand of every new case is an elderly person. So I hope that this film will bring about dialogue. Uh, I'll be on Facebook putting out all my info. The donations are going to be tax deductible because I'm going to have a 501 uh, uh, three um, tax deductible provision. So, yeah. Evie, you are such a deep woman. <laughs> I mean, anything you touch is like, it has a lot of... Uh, well, I feel got, like, you know, thinking. you only have one life to live, so you better make it worth it. Uh, if you not, always just do. sleep. Just you sleep. Always do. You always cover things that are just unique, Thank things you. that people are not thinking about. Thank and I love you. that about you. Thank Keep you it up, so man. Much. I really, really, like, look up to you, honestly. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Evie. Have a good night. Nice. Thank you. Everybody used to look at you like, what's Arik here? What's Arik here? L look at Arik now. Indeed, look at Eric now. It's a, a phenomenal company. Yes. I've been very excited to be associated with the brand. Uh, I started working with Eric Air um, in summer of uh, 2010, but I met them when they launched in December of 2009. And, and the launch event was really high class. And that gave me a t sense for the tone of what this company was doing. Okay. See, um, there are not very many Nigerian companies. I can count them on one hand. Nigerian companies have come to do anything in the U.S. that have done them on that quality level, that level of, you know, exposure. And it made me very proud to be, you know, to see something like that. And I tried to, you know, support them in every way I could. Um, and then in between my first and second year at business school at Columbia, I decided that I wanted to work with a Nigerian company to have an impact and do something that would, you know, maybe make a difference for the firm. And uh, the reason I was willing to work at Eric the way I did, like as if it was my own business and I was trying to build my own business. I, I did it like that because, number one, you know, it's a thing of national pride to have a Nigerian airline. We haven't had one flying from New York to Lagos for many years. Number two, they changed the game in Nigeria for airlines. They raised the standard very high, brand new aircraft, high safety standards, and very good quality service. And number three, the impact that something like that would have for international trade was just big for me. Wow. So, um, you know, I got into it. You know, I think when you've lived outside the country, I, I lived outside Nigeria for 18 years. I just moved back two months ago. And um, you start wanting to have your own thing. Because people constantly say, oh, yours isn't good. Well, ours is good. We have a good quality thing. Right. You can be an Eric and they will serve you catfish pepper soup. <laughs> Are you serious? If you're in, in the premier class. Ooh. Yes. You know, that. so, you know, what else? I heard there's jollof rice. There's jollof rice. There's palm wine. There's no, no, not to my knowledge, okay. but you never know. They could <laughs> have it. They're, they're on the more, you know, high, you know, the um, red wine and white wine type okay. stuff. But who knows? Who knows? Maybe that would be a request. Some traditional stuff. Yeah, they, they, they mix it in there. They do a nice blend of both. Okay. And even, you know, this, you see the cabin crew, the women wearing the Ankara, yeah. you know, with the wings. I mean, that's just very <laughs> innovative, you know. Yeah. So it's good to see our own thing being done well because we're constantly told it's not done well. And you know, for all the people who are Nigerian, who are out there, I know we're sometimes a very critical group of people. Yeah. But the question is, we have to ask, who has done anything you know, like that before? 
you have an airline that's serving, you know, they, they run 120 flights a day. Uh, I live in Nigeria now, I fly on Eric Air every week. They're very often on time, most of the time on time. Their planes are much better than some of the planes that you see here for local flights. So, you know, it's, it's something you know, to be proud of. I, I, it's like, I'm just amazed because when I used to see you, I mean, you were just so aggressive and, and part of the success of a week has to do with you, you know? I mean, big ups, man. I'm so proud. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank and you, you received an award today, right? I did, yes. Tell uh, everybody what the award was. It's called the Friends of Eric Air Award. Um, and I was very touched that they decided to you know, honor me with that award. Um, but, you know, I, I just did what I, I did because, you know, working with Eric, because I just saw something that was, you know, it was ours. It, you know, it, again, that's national sense of pride. And it was, a, some, it was some way I could have an impact, you know, based on what I like. I mean, I love to travel. I've been to over to about 30 countries. And, uh, you know, I've flown a lot. And so to have a, an airline, you know, that could open the doors for Nigeria. I mean, do you know how many people in this country have met Nigerians and, yeah. uh, who would like to go to Nigeria at some point? Now this is a non-stop, you know, flight. Yeah. Lagos to New York. Uh, well, New York to Lagos, yeah. nine hours and 20 minutes. That's quite, you I mean, can't beat that. I mean, you, you can go to somewhere in Europe, Switzerland, for nine hours. Yep. You know, so I think it's, it's, a quite, it's quite a good accomplishment. Thank you so much, Osahan. Do you want to give any shout-outs to anyone out there? Um, <laughs> shout-outs? Any shout-outs, you know. Who do you usually give shout-outs to? I don't know. Give me examples of shout-outs. I don't know. Whoever you feel like giving a shout-out to. Arik Air. www.arikair.com. Whatever, whatever. Anything you want. Just, just give the people. Well, yeah, definitely. I want to give a shout out to yeah <laughs> my friends at Columbia University, okay. Columbia African Economic Forum. What's up? You know, it's a big conference that comes up in March, uh, last weekend in March. I want to shout them out because I'm sure they're putting together a very nice one this year. And obviously to Eric Air for all the fantastic work they've done. <laughs> Thank you, Osahan. Pleasure having you. Thank you very much. I think maybe the first one, the first one is titled Ekabo, and Ekabo means, Ekabo means welcome. Okay. The short song is about a minute, um, a minute 30 seconds, okay. but um, I pretty much, pretty much give a summary of what's, you know, really what I have on the project, okay. you know, so, um, yeah. How long have you been singing? How long? Um, probably about, I've been singing for about, um, about 20 years. Uh, my solo project I've been doing for about um, s for six years now. Wow. Yeah, for six years. I sang with a um, female reggae band in Toronto for about five years. Okay. And that was fun. I did start up as a backup vocalist and then I started doing a lot of leads. And it was, it was great. I learned patois. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, it was great. It was, it was a lot of fun. The band, it was an all-female reggae band, a lot of live sets. And um, it got nominated. So you yeah. can do all types of genres of music? Like yeah, relatively. I don't think I really rap that much. I can DJ Dang. a little bit, yeah, but rapping, I, I don't like know, really. Okay. <laughs> so this is my final guest for tonight. How are you? I'm great. What if amazing, amazing Eric Air? Great event. Tell us, tell us your name. Linda Kumalo. Linda Kumalo. Have you have you flew with Eric Air before? I have not, but a good friend who is the owner of Nkechi's Project, which is an organization that sends children in Nigeria, girls in particular. Yes, I met her. From, yes, um, that's how I came to be familiar with Arike. They support her organization. She sends girls to boarding school in Nigeria. Yes, without women. Without women. We do support. We are the holder of our nation, of nations, no matter what um, world we live in. Women are the organizers of the world. Yes. yes. Right. We run the world. We do. <laughs> <laughs> You're so right. So, um, is there, um, hmm, what, you, when are you planning on flying with Arik? I am South African and I must definitely because I've got go good Africa? friends. Not, yet, Not right? as of yet. Not as of yet. But I think I can go to Nigeria, then from there I will make my way to South Africa. South Africa. I will tell all my friends about Arike. Most amazing stuff. I've met the staff. Quite amazing. Pretty amazing. Beyond friendly. I mean that's what people like. Yeah, there is um SA which pretty much has but Arike I think is um another airline to do Africa with.
go to Nigeria through Arik Air and then from there you can kind of disperse yourself through the continent through other airlines, but do try Arik Air. Yeah. You are amazing. And you want to say hello to anyone out there? Uh, yes, I am um, an owner of uh, Kumalo Real Estate Group and our focus, yes, yes, our focus is the um, diplomat community and uh, look us up and we will help you whatever you need. All right, All right. thank you. Thank you as Pleasure well. You. See you. Bye. All right, bye. So it's a wrap. Finally, I am done. I mean, I spoke to so many people tonight. I had so much fun. I mean, the list goes on. Arik Air is doing your thing. You got to fly with Arik Air. Also, you got to check out this restaurant. Mataiko African Restaurant is a new restaurant in Queens, New York. Whenever you arrive in New York City, it's so close to JFK and LaGuardia. You got to come to Mataiko African Restaurant on Jamaica Avenue and come chop, okay? Now, Nollywood NYC is in the building tonight. Nollywood NYC has been doing it for about three years now and they're going on and on they don't stop shout out to og shout out to aura i love you guys and arik air was fun god bless arik air we're out of here see you bye